Hello everybody, AJ Rysick here, and today we're going to take a look at how to improve font rendering in Arch-based distributions. Now this is going to work in Arch, uh, I've seen this work in Manjaro, in Integros, and basically any of the Arch-based distros this is going to work. Um, you know, Arch is by far my favorite distribution just because it is infinitely customizable you get to make it exactly what you want you don't have all of the additional stuff that uh, said developer has decided that you should have installed on your desktop environment you know it's just the way that you want it unfortunately out of the box arch the the uh, um, the font rendering sucks I mean looking at what I have right here it's you know it, it's not all that great um, probably out of the box Ubuntu based distros have one of the best font renderings around um, arch you know not so good however you can go and improve that using the infinality and I hope I'm I'm saying that right the infinality uh, uh, font set so that's what we're going to do in this little tutorial here so first thing let me get my uh, here's my notes right here so first thing we're going to do is we're going to install some missing fonts so let's open up a terminal put that right here and we will install these missing fonts and don't worry I will leave um, down below in the description section I will leave all of these terminal commands for you as well I'm planning on doing a write-up on uh, on how to do this on my blog and uh, you'll be able to get it there and I'll leave a link down below once I get this written up and uh, and finalized so we're going to start by installing all of these and then we've got some from um, the Arch user repository that we're going to install as well and get rid of that update notification okay so we got those let's install these from the AUR Try that again. There we go. All right, so all of that is installed. Next thing I'm going to do is disable the bitmap fonts. And we'll just do this with this terminal command here. Copy and paste that in place. All right. So next we're going to need to add the infinality repo to our Pac Man file. So we're going to now I'm using gedit but whatever text editor you're using you can use that alright and so we're going to need to add these repos to our configura pacman configuration file so let's just scroll down here to where I've got the others and we'll just put it right after the AUR those in place and we'll save those now if you um, Check and see if your um, uh, the multi-lib on Pac-Man configuration has been uncommented or not. I've already done that. It's this repo right here. Uh, if it has not, just remove the little pound signs from in front of the uh, that repo. 
Okay, that is done. Next thing we're going to do, we'll update our database. So let's uh, we'll copy that in here, which is sudo pacman uh, dash capital S Y Y. That will uh, resync our databases. And so now we're going to do our actual install. And uh, which is the Infinality Bundle, Infinality Bundle Multilib. Enter. And we wanted to go to default with all three. I'll default for all three. Yes, we want to remove Cairo. Yes, we want to remove that. Yes, we want to remove that. Yes. Yes. Proceed to the installation. Yes. And now it's just a matter of letting that install. And then after the installation is complete, we want to reboot our system. All right, everything is installed and I rebooted. We're back and running. And, uh, you know, I don't know how obvious it is from uh, in the video, but it is, you know, looking at the desktop and looking at this LibreOffice document, it is a massive difference in the, uh, in, in the quality and the rendering of the font. Um, now, if you want to make some, you know, further tweaks, um, depending on what desktop environment you are running, you may have access to to some tweaking tools. Now, I'm in GNOME, so I can pull up the tweak tool, and uh, let me find it. Oh, there we go, fonts right there. And from there, I can go and do some tweaking there, play around with the henning, the anti-alias, and that sort of thing. Um, the way that it's set right now, I'm pretty happy with, although over the next day or so, I'm going to play around with some of the settings and, and just take a look and see if there's something that I like better. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with where it's at right now. Um, I will leave references down below both for, there's an entire page in the Arch Wiki about Infinality, and, and it not only talks about the installation, but doing some of the configuring and whatnot. Um, and then here is the Infinality website as well. I'll leave links for both of those so you can play around with configurations as well. There's instructions on how to manually configure, you know, if you if you don't have access to, uh, uh, you know, like a tweak tool or whatever, depending on what in desktop environment you're, you're running, or you you know, if you prefer working with configuration files, you can go that route. Um, and like I said, I'll link, leave links down below so that you can find those and, and do that if you like. But having said that, that about finishes this video up. If you enjoyed it, please give us a big old thumbs up and uh, please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. As always, comments, questions, all that kind of stuff, leave that down below and I will try to get to it as soon as possible. Thanks a lot.